Welcome to the world of embedded hardware. Today, we'll explore the considerations you will need when selecting an embedded system for your next project. This includes form factor processor types, RAM, storage, power consumption, heat, longevity of production, input output, timescales, and value for money. It's tempting to start with processing power when considering your requirements for an embedded system, but this is a mistake. The first consideration is the timescale of the project and available space for the solution. Once you know these, the selection of the other components can begin. Next, you need to consider the form factor and processing power required. There are three main types of processors, ARM, x86, and microcontrollers. The x86-based boards are the most powerful with the best software options but tend to be the most expensive and biggest but quickest to market. The ARM-based systems tend to be smaller, cheaper, and use less power than x86-based systems but usually require more software development. Microcontrollers are the smallest, cheapest, and use the least energy but are the hardest to integrate, requiring custom hardware and software. Once the basic processes and size requirements are met, you need to consider the input-output interfaces, including things like HDMI, DisplayPort, USB, UART, SPI, and I2C etc. Make sure that each hardware type you consider supports the required interfaces you need. Remember that additional ports can be added to standard boards if required. Power consumption can be a deciding factor, especially for battery-powered devices. Low power processors and power management techniques can significantly extend battery life and improve efficiency. Heat is another factor to look out for, especially when designing systems for enclosed spaces. Custom heatsink solutions are available for most issues. Longevity matters, especially in industrial applications. Look for hardware with long-term support and a proven track record for reliability to ensure your project remains up-to-date and functional. Lastly, consider storage requirements and operating systems. RAM sizes and types such as NOR, NAND, or EMMC-based solutions need to be considered depending on data capacity and write cycles, read-write performance, and cost constraints. As you can see, selecting the correct embedded hardware solutions can be involved. RDS has been aiding engineers and developers for over 40 years so give us a call on 01959 563 345 to discuss your latest project. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.